Hey family, I'm here in Sulnook. It's the night of our third day here. We're in the city center and they, they have these fountains that have like multicolored lights in them. They're super, super cool. Here with my companion, Elder Weaver. Hey. Hello. And this is the city center. We actually live right around the corner, so it's super cool. Hey. So here we are over at the corner of our street. Some construction going on down here. Let me turn this way. This is the road we're on. It's super convenient because we're right at the city center almost. And we just live a ways down there. We're on the second story. Here they call it the first one because they call the first story ground floor. It's super confusing when you're new. But basically we just had kind of a crappy day. We worked for probably about six or seven hours and you know it didn't didn't really turn up anything but you know this is like kind of our first real full day of work here so it'll pick up and here we are we're coming up to our humble abode here's all the crap I've been throwing out of our apartments because missionary apartments here are disgusting you know I never thought I'd clean as much as my mom does, but... This is our friendly Joe cat Joe. that tries to come in and live with us. It causes conflict because I like cats. And I just don't want to let it in, though. So I want to be nice, but sometimes I have to be me. It's so stupid. Conflicting. But, I'm going to make sure she doesn't get in. And we're going to close the door and lock it because you have to do that here in Hungary. And you turn around and welcome. Yeah, there's some stuff on the floor. This is our kitchen. Um, uh, the last apartment when I showed you was after I finished cleaning. This is in the process. This is one of my tools here. Probably the best cleaner I've found yet. Um, my finished carton of milk. Some other crap. Stuff I've collected and thrown in the corner because I'm going to throw it away. Our fridge which is actually super nice because it's huge compared to my last one. Inside we can see, you know, there's some items of interest and then a lot of not very much interest. Um, dishes! Like, I don't think they've been done here in a month. We've only been here for three days, so like, that's not my fault, I promise. This, though, look. I clean this. Like everything is in order. This but, you know, just work in progress. We got our dishes. Clean that too. Um, yeah, there's other stuff. Companion, eating some food. This is my cup. My cup spot. Other stuff. This has been completely clean because it was filthy, nasty mess. And we'll come this way. Here's our mirror. There's me. Coat hanger. If you check out the coat, I found it in this apartment. I really like it. And it just happens to fit me perfectly. Um, this is our bathroom. It's actually super, super, super nice. Um, got another poop deck. We need to clean that up. I think that's laundry detergent stuff. There's our laundry machine. Haven't quite figured out how that one works. But basically, this is from our uh, our heater. Spills all over our washing machine. Um, so it leaks. But that's our heater. That's a spatial heater. That's a door into our room, but you can't open it because there's closets there. 
Uh, there's a really, really nice bathtub by Hungarian standards. Another mirror! Me again! Hello! Make our way into the living space. Again, partially in a clean, cleaned, partially clean state. I don't know. Can't speak English anymore. Um, that's a lot of Elder Weaver's things. There's his Tisa bag. Super interesting. Tisa is like a Hungarian brand. Um, a lot of elders get them because they're side bags. They're super nice. Yeah, but they are also super expensive. And I looked into getting one and I saw the prices and I said, Hey, the bag I have is good. This is Elder Weaver with the accordion we found in our apartment. He is also a musical genius, so he's been teaching himself to play accordion. And he's actually played a couple of hymns already. He's pretty good at it. It's impressive stuff. This is our banishment area, basically. Just things that we don't want to deal with for now. My suitcase is hiding over there. The bedroom. So, Elder Weaver's bed, my bed, our crap, our closets. The door is behind there, but you can't see it. goes to the bathroom. When I came in here first, like, this closet was, like, full. Like, all the way up with just stuff other elders had stuck in there. There is a senior couple who came by a couple days ago. We basically loaded, like, six bags of crap into their car and sent it to the mission home because they asked for clothes and things that elders don't use anymore. Um, another heater. Our window has a shutter on the outside, but, like, it doesn't open or close, and it's only partially closed, so like other elders have kind of stuck tin foil there. You know, I guess you do what you can to insulate. You know, it's always nice to have stuff. And we come this way, and our ironing board TV set. Um, this is just kind of going to be a work in progress for a while. Coming out here. I promise I'm gonna have this place clean at some point. You should have seen it when I got here. But then we have our patio. Um, here's the street we came in on over there. That street down there is the city center. This way there's a little scene has over there that's basically just the theater. Super rendesh. Um, this was a mess out here. There was like some chairs and stuff that a cat had scratched up and peed on, and like a dead plant, and a whole bunch of other oh, old crap. A spider. No. And there's a huge spider. I mean, I guess it doesn't look that big, but like, you know, I'm gonna stick my hand right next. Okay, it's going away. But didn't like my hand. So. This is our safe quiche lakashink. Um, I guess I kind of like it here in Solnuk. The work is starting out kind of slow. I miss Debritz and there's some people there that I really liked and really got to know well. But I think it'll be good here. Things will be on the up and up. Any words of wisdom? Yeah. Still not? Okay.